Hey y'all, it's Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas, and I got to go to the local Houston Succulent and Cactus Society sale last weekend, and I got some good stuff, and I can't wait to show you guys. Let's go check it out. So I figured we'd just go smallest to tallest. So starting out, we have, this is a Disco Cactus, Wenicarii, and it's known as being one of the smallest cacti, and it's got these little babies on the side and I love it so much and I love it so much this is this is actually the second one that I bought from the society sale last spring I got this one right here and it may be kind of hard to tell but it's got fluff it's got a little fluffy top and it's super cool and it's fuzzy and I have to touch it and I hope that's okay <laughs> I love it. So this one now has a new little friend. What's up? What's up? Next up, this one is fascinating. It's a Gymnocolisium Friedrichii, and this is a variety from a region Agua Dolce. And it's so beautiful. It's got a just a gorgeous texture to it and then with all these little flower buds coming in I'm so excited I'll definitely show you guys what the flowers look like but these tend to take quite a while to bloom and next we have the Matocano Madisoniorum and these are really cute like right now you know it just looks kind of like I don't know like a little funny pickle guy or something but Flowers on these are a gorgeous coral red. And he's like, these little funny spines that are just like, meh, meh. I love them. I think they're so cute. How about that? Look at that plant. Look at that pot. Yes, I got both of them at the sale. And I actually bought one of these pots, a couple of these pots from the same maker, AM Share. That's another one that I got at the last sale, along with an Astrophyta Mysterious. So as soon as I saw this pot, I fell in love with the colors. It's like, it looks like a beautiful sunset. And I got another Astrophyta Mysterious. So that's that situation. Very happy with them. Oh, and the pots are adorable. Very sturdy. Anything with little legs on it, oh, give it some meat the equivalent of like if a dress has pockets sold pot has little legs sold this right here I've never heard of it before Mamortica Rostrata and it's in the cucumber family and it's got all these crazy vines and it reminds me the vines remind me of my um, Ibervillia which is also in the cucumber family and it's super cool look at that it's already got its own little bonsai vibe going on i absolutely love it there's a vine like reaching all the way over to me <laughs> and bonus Let's see if you can see that see that little heart leaf right there that's a little pop-up seedling a little volunteer of a dorstinia and i love it when that happens and it's happened to me before when i bought a plant from the society sale. So cool. My Mordica. So this dude is an Opuntia Zabrina Reticulata. And look at that awesome texture and markings on here. It does look spineless, but it's not. And I have figured that out accidentally <laughs> but what's funny is this guy right here like when I first saw these a few years ago I was like ah that thing is kind of ugly and then I saw it again and I was like oh I think I need that and then I saw it at the sale and I was like guess what you're mine I literally was like I need that I need that <laughs> And I got one more thing, but I already potted it up and it's too big to carry over here, so we're going to go to it. 
And I have that right here. It is an Alwadia from Bear TI. It's really big. Whoa. And it is super similar to the Madagascar, to the Alwadia Procera. They're in the same family. And I really love it. I love how big it is, and it's just got all these cool little leaves. And it's just a really stunning plant. And bitey. So be careful. Right? Be careful. I just have it over here for now to let it get used to the sun. It was probably in a greenhouse with a shade cloth, and I'm just making sure to be careful with all of the new plants that I got to respect them. Like where are they where were they being grown before I got them? I'm assuming it wasn't full direct sun. Gotta be careful when you bring them home. Keep that in mind. I know it's hard to choose. I couldn't choose a favorite, but if you see one that you think would be your favorite, let me know in the comments. And I, I want to repot this into something like really cool. I'm waiting for the perfect pot to come around, come my way. And I know it when I see it. I want it to be bulky and, and like a big, just like a rock. So it looks like it's just growing straight out of the rock. This one, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to let it be for now see what it does because the growth on this is naturally like kind of wonky and I will just as soon as I saw this pot and that plant I knew they were going together and it was like such a good feeling to see how perfect how perfect they go together such a good feeling right All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I look forward to the next sale and 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 the next one and the next one. <laughs>